hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be making this balenciaga hourglass beaded bag so if it's something that you're interested in please keep on watching so for today's video we'll be using this transparent red beads they are they are round and they have this shiny effect i normally call it disco effect right? and this is a hole and together with our thread our thread is 0 0.6 as well as a magnetic button and a scissors and lastly our branding logo right you know you don't necessarily need this it's just for branding okay so without a waste of time let's start with our video so you're going to take your thread make sure they are equal then you start with four beads right then put on any side that you prefer all of the four you put on any side that you prefer then you use the last bead to cross with the other side of the thread then you pull right and it's going to be something like this like this right so the second one you're going to take three beads you're going to take three beads three beads one on the right this is my right hand right then two on the left like so right and you cross with the last bead on the left then you pull so it's going to be like this right the second one okay it's going to be something like this so the third one you're also going to take three beads three beads put two on the left two on the left and one on the right right three and you use this one on the left the last one on the left to cross both threads then you you pull okay so this is the third one right okay this is the third one so we're gonna continue like so until we make our 10 right Two beads on the left and one bead on the right. You pull. Okay, so we are now going to make our 10. So you're going to take three beads and put all of them on your left. You cross with your right thread. Three, you cross with the last bead. Then you pull. Okay. Like so, right? 
end so you're going to add another three beads on the left thread then cross with the right thread right then you pull So it's going to be like this right so you're going to take this right thread and pass it through this bead over here then you pull like so and you cross with the last bead. Okay. So we are on our second row and this is how it look. I don't know if black background, it works very really well, but this is how it is okay so we're gonna keep on going like that so what i have here is 20 from here to here is 20 so you count by one two three four five until right so we're gonna do that okay on this row you keep on adding two beads right So we are now going to make another turn to the third row, right? Take your right thread, pass it through one bead from the previous row, right? Then in a very same thread, our right thread, right? This one over here, we're going to put two beads, then cross with the left thread. Cross with the left thread, then you pull, then 
going to be like this right so turning into the third row you're going to take the very thin right thread and put three beads then cross with the left thread then you pull okay so it's going to be like this right so you take the right thread and pass it through this outer bit the one that are on the outside all right two beads on the left thread Cross with the with the right thread. So you're going to have something like this. So you're going to continue all the way again, right?
okay so i end up with 15 on the side meaning one two three four five until 15 right and on the longer side is 23 right <clears throat> so it's going to be so we're going to count until nine then we bend for our corner right then we also count nine from this side right then we bend over here so the bottom part is going to have five rows right two three four five right so we're going to bend over here and also bend over here so it's going to be something like this right then we're going to make our sides right so making our sides i'm going to start here since i have my thread over here i don't normally cut it so that i can just save a thread right so i'm going to start making my side frame here until where my corner is okay three beads right then use the last one to cross it's the very same thing we have been doing So I'm making the eighth one. So on the ninth one is going to be where we make our corner, right? So we have we have eight already. So on this one, I'm going to take my right thread and pass it through two beads. This one here and this one, right? So you pass it through like so. Then you add one bead. Then you pull. It's going to bend on its own. There we go. Okay. So here it is, right? And adjust over here. So yeah, here's our corner, right? So I'm going to take the the right thread and pass it through here pass it through right you can always find something to balance <laughs> you're going to add two beads Adding two beads, right? So you see our corner is here, right? So we just added it here. So we have one, two. We have to go three, four, and five.
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, right? So this one is the fifth one, right? So you take your thread and pass it through two beads, one and two, right? Then you add one bead. It's our corner already. So you add one bead. Then you cross with the other side of the thread. Okay. So here it is, right? Our corner. This is our corner. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Right? Just going to add one bit. So this is how it look right on the side. So this part is the other side and this part is the other side so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill up all the spaces so with the very same thing that we've been doing with the rest of the bag nothing new here right okay so this is our bag right so we managed to complete everything before we shape it right so this is the inside and on this side I have nine meaning I have one two three four until nine right and on the longer side I have 15 one two three four five until 15 and on this side I have five one two three four five right so what we're gonna do now we're going to start shaping our back right so doing so we're going to start with the bottom right so we're gonna start with the bottom so we have 15 right so we're going to count one two three four five six one two three four five six so this three rows we're going to work on this three rows right so you're going to take a piece you're going to take a piece of your thread then you put one bead on any side you put one bead on any side and this is a very short one it's not so long right you take one bead then you are going to count make sure you work on the three right and so you're going to pass your other side of the thread over here and the other side of the thread on the other side okay don't worry about this so it should be something like this then you're going to press it and pull okay like so then you add 
one bead then you add one bead and cross with the other side like so you pull right should be like that right then you're going to continue you take the other side of the thread pass it through this bead over here oh make sure it's firm right going to fix that and make sure that your thread is strong because we're going to pull very hard one bit cross with the other side this is the second one we are making right so we're just adding one bit one bit right it's like we are tying a corset <laughs> we're tying a corset over here so we're doing the last one take your thread again pass it through the other bit and the other side as well right you so you see it's loose so we're going to tie very well after adding the last bit right then just make sure that my hands are not slippery because what we are about to do okay so you're going to make your double knot right you're not crossing here you're making your firm double knot the thread is very strong i think this is 0 0.8 that i'm using to do this right it can even hurt you so just be careful okay so it's like this right so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to make sure that i hide this my knot you know we always have to hide our knot before we cut our thread there we go you see it's gone it's inside them so i'm going to take this and pass it through some few beads before i cut it so that we don't have like a spike right on the spot okay so i'm just gonna do so okay let me do this side I'm going to take okay okay so i'm done tying over here right it's like a bow so don't worry about it this is the inside okay we're just going to adjust that adjust that adjust that do you see what you just made do you see yeah it doesn't show yet so don't worry it doesn't show yet <laughs> so what we're gonna do now we're going to move to the side this was the bottom right so moving to the side i just want to show you something um this this over here this is the corner right this is the corner right and also this is the corner right then from the corner i counted one bit okay from the corner right i counted one bit right this is the corner this is the side of the back this is the front so from here i counted this is the corner i counted one <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but this is the, the front side this is the side so from the corner i counted one going to the side right so if my corner is here this is where my thread is and i'm going to join it on the very same opposite bit this is the corner i'm going to jump corner and go to the next one right so let's do that so doing so you're going to need two bits you put each on the thread one bit right and also one bead right then you're going to pass your corner and go 
to the other side here's my corner right but i'm passing it i'm doing on the other side like this is front this is back for that sake then this is the side so i'm going through front straight to the back i'm jumping this part right so from the corner okay like so then i'm going to this is how it is then i'm going to pull everything together like so and make my double knot make your double knot we are tying our corset right <laughs> that old traditional corset the one i used to see in the movies right so just adjust your beads then you hide your your knot right as always we hide our knot then yeah there we go okay just 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 look at that look at that just one side and we have just look look at that okay i'm gonna quickly go and do this side all right from the back to the front or from the front to the back either way so this is how our back is looking like after doing both sides right so this side as well as this side and the bottom right so what we're gonna do now we're going to make a cover right so i'm gonna start it over here as you see the thread this thread is the one that tied over here so it's not a new thread so i just pass it until here so i'm gonna use it to make like a cover but anyway this is the shape of the back before we attach our cover right and handle so yeah
Okay, so this is our lid, right? To cover it. This is where it comes. So what we're gonna do now is going to join our handles over here, right? So I'm gonna take this, take it all the way until here to join our handle, right? Okay, so here it is. Our thread is over here, right? So this is the top. This is how it is. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start building up my handle from here. So this is the one that is on the top. So in total is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the front part is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So I'm building on the second row. So I'm going to start by taking three beads. So I'm going to take three beads, put them on the left, cross with the right. Then take my right thread and pass it through this bead over here, the one that is down, right? The one that is on the back already. Then put two beads. Put two beads. I have another video of how to make a handle. The easy way of making a handle. So if you do not know how to do this method, you can use that method. I will link the link on the description box below kindly go and check it out the tutorial is quite easy other than this one so yeah go please go and check it out how to make a handle right One bead. Okay. So this is this is it now. I'm doing the second one. Normally you start with three beads, followed by two, two. Then the last one is one. So it's three beads. So, 
this is the handle that I made. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just count the very simplest that I placed it over here. The simplest that I'm going to place over here. Remember from here is one, two, then from here is one and two. So on this four beads, one, two, three, four, that's where I'm going to attach this part, right? Doing so, I'm just going to use four beads to do so, right? So I'm going to go ahead. You place it like this. You take one bead. One bead, pass it through. One, two, okay, you pass it through. One bead. Okay. Pass through that one bead. Okay, then put another bead. Cross with another, then you pull together. Okay. There is a special video on how to attach your handle to the bag. I'll also link it on the description box below. There is also a video on how to make a handle. I'll this I'll link it on the description box below. Kindly go and check it out. So that if you don't do the back the way I do, the, then you do it the other that other way. Another bead, you pull, okay, Another bead, you pull, then yeah, that's it, right? Four beads. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to take my thread and run it around. Okay guys, so this is our back, our finished back. So this is the bottom and this is how it is, right? Curved rent. So this is the side as well as another side. And this is the front and this is the back. And this is our handle. And there's our sign there made by Nolo. And there's our magnetic button, right? And this is the inside, right? so if you like this video up to so far kindly like share and comment let me know what you guys think about the bag right is it cute balenciaga vibe right <laughs> okay guys so please subscribe and i'll see you on my next video so bye guys